Hi everybody! Welcome back to Bentley House. Uh, today I thought I would put together the Adams Family Mansion living room for you. And so I'd show you all the stuff that I had, um, all the, like the furniture pieces and little detail pieces they have for this room. And I'm kind of like filming like right by a window so you can see as much as possible so I'm sorry if there's glare. I'm going to try and show you each piece without getting in the way. Um, but it's kind of tight quarters, so I'll do my best. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing, kind of the most iconic, let's see, most iconic piece would be Morticia's chair. And I made this, uh, I don't know, a long time ago, and I made it without the handles or the arms and it just did not look right so I had to go back and remake it. Anyway this is her wicker chair it's made with um, embroidery floss just wrapped around a form that I made so put that in. The next iconic piece is the stuffed polar bear. So he is made out of Fimo clay and um, he's just sculpted. And a lot of these things I have um, like blog posts for because I was doing a blog about this project. And so um, I'll try, if there's anything specific I have a blog post for, I'll link it below so that you can go and read. You can see the date when I did it. You can see some of the progression photos. So I'll try and do that for you. So he goes back in there. I'm missing my rug. Where's the rug? Okay, so next is the rug for the floor. So this was um, given to me. I do believe it is real fur. I'm not sure what kind of rodent it came off. It's small, so it's obviously not bear fur, but it's small enough so that it um, looks in scale. So No, I did not go out and shoot anything to get this. I'm sorry for the little bunny, but um, or whatever it was. But it works. So, and then I've got just this little table for their coffee table. Typically on their coffee table I put this little two-headed turtle I made. In the original TV show they have a two-headed turtle. So I made this guy out of Fimo clay. And he sits down here. We have, this is hard guys, this little um, brass piece that goes in front of the fireplace. And this is an artisan piece, although I've lost the piece with the name on it. So if you know who the artist is for this brass piece, um, please share it. This is the couch that I put in across from Morticia and Gomez's chair, and I don't have Gomez's chair yet, made yet. Um, it, it's typically in the shows as a gold throne, and I made one and I didn't like it, <laughs> so I don't have that one right now. So I put that in there. I've been kind of using this other red chair that matches the couch in its place. so. They also have the moose that sits above the fireplace, so these are my little moose horns. And I do have the name of this artist. Let me pull this off. T. Dudley. T. Dudley. So that up here. Eventually it will be on the wall, but for the sake of working on it, it, I have it removable, so it will be right there for now. On the other side of this 
chair, I typically put this little bench and it just kind of helps define this entryway more into a hallway. I have a few things that go up onto the mantel. So this is a little clock in a dome. And it's a very cheap um, miniature, but I like the look of it. It looks old. Um, it's plastic. The whole thing is plastic. And I got it for $2, but I just like the look of it. It looks very Adams-y. So it goes in there. And I also... For now, I'm putting these lanterns up there, and my friend Katie Reed made these. There we go. And so I bought these from her because I just love the way they looked. So they're going up on the mantel. They may move, but for right now, they're just going up on the mantel. I also have this little miniature cane and umbrella holder and my dad bought this for me at the Texas Miniature Showcase and um, and it has this little bird head cane in there I just think it's so interesting Let's see if I can get it closer without totally blinding you guys so there's so many interesting pieces in here my dad bought me this and I just love it and it's perfect for this house so it goes right by that front door I do have the little, I do have the little fireplace piece that looks like this, and um, it's lost everything except for the shovel. So I don't know, maybe Wednesday and Pugsley ran off with it, but it sits over here by the fireplace. Maybe someday I'll find the missing pieces. <laughs> it's another iconic piece. It's Lurch's double keyboarded organ. And this is the first one I actually made where the keys move. And you can see the back. I kind of put the Adam's crest that you see in the movie on the back of the organ just because I didn't know what to put back there. And then here's the sides. It's got like it's busted up. Yes, I did that on purpose. So this is the organ. It goes way back here for Lurch to use for family events. I do have this small vase of roses that are looking like they're dying and a friend from Singapore sent these to me and I made the vase to go with it. hope you can see that. But I do like to have these sitting out because they look like a vase of roses that Morticia might sit around. So I'll put these on the staircase. Sometimes I, I have a lot of these little miniature cannons and so sometimes I will put these guys out just alongside the furniture and I think they help the atmosphere. And then I have this little coat rack. Eventually I'll probably put some coats on it. This guy goes on the other side of the door over here, kind of in that space. And last but not least, what every Adams Family living room needs is Thing. Sitting on the coffee table, about to snap the theme song. So this is the general setup for the Adams Family living room, and I change it around a lot. Um, but these things typically stay the same. Like sometimes I'll move the flowers or I'll move thing, you know, just all over the place. <laughs> but most of these pieces are pretty set on being in these areas. So I will take the camera off and try to give you a better look. But um, thanks for joining me and I hope to do Gomez's office next. That'll be the next one I put together for you.